Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. Today I will show you how to transform ordinary images into stunning, eye-catching designs. We will focus on enhancing features that grab attention and create visually appealing product advertisements. So let's get started. To create a high quality designs, always start with high resolution images. You can find free resources on websites like Freepik, Behance and Unsplash. So first we will talk about the color palette. Colors plays a very important role in design. So well thought out color combination can make your design pop. For this design, my product is an orange color. So I will use blue as the background color because it complements orange beautifully. I'm using this color palette and color wheel for guidance. You can also generate your custom palette from websites like Coolers, which offers trending palettes or allows you to create your own custom palette. Let's start by designing a background. Create a new document, add a solid color layer. I will use blue for the background. Import the colorful rainbow crystal image. Uh, use Ctrl T to transform and rotate. Change the blank mode to screen. Apply hue saturation or press Ctrl U to slightly adjust the colors. Check colorize. Tweak the values for saturation and press off. Add layer mask and paint with a soft brush. To soften the edges. Add another solid color layer in light blue. Select the mask and invert it with Ctrl I. Change the blend mode to screen. So in this layer, we will create a light effect. You can either create your own custom brush in Photoshop or download free light beam and sunshine brush presets online. A .abr file will download and you can easily import presets from this option. Rotate the brush by simply pressing the right arrow key on your keyboard. Start creating a light effect with this brush. Now set the foreground color on black and soften the edges. Create a curve layer, make the background slightly darker. Invert the mask with Ctrl I and paint with a soft brush to direct the focus on the light. Select all layers, group with Ctrl G and rename as background. For bottle manipulation and touch up, Import bottle image, use the object selection tool to select the bottle and add a layer mask. Adjust the mask by increasing the feather value to soften the edges. Go to the image menu, adjustments, brightness and contrast and make slight adjustments. Add little contrast value. Okay. Import the label image to make the bottle look more realistic. Duplicate the label layer with Ctrl J, hide it and select the bottom layer. Set the blend mode to multiply. Select the top layer, make it visible, add a mask. Select soft brush. Make sure your foreground color is set in black and paint with a soft brush to create a shadow effect where the light does not heat. Group these layers, convert to smart object and rename to bottle. Again group, place the bottle wherever you want to position it. Create shadows based on the light direction. Add a curve layer for basic shadow, make it slightly darker and use Alt to clip it into the bottle layer. And with the mask with Ctrl I, select a soft brush, set foreground color to white and gently paint the shadows for a smooth and natural look. Create another curve layer for dark shadow, clipping mask. Again, make it dark and set blend mode to luminosity. Invert the mask and use a paint tool to create a selection area for dark shadow. Control plus enter for converting a path into a selection. And paint the shadow with a soft brush, 30% flow value. Control plus D to deselect. Transform and rotate and apply a slight feather value for a softer blended effect. Now select bottle image for extracting highlights, select color range from the select menu, choose highlights and adjust the values. Duplicate this bottle image with Ctrl J, press all for clipping mask. Change layer opacity to 75% for a balanced look. Set the blend mode to screen at layer mask and use a soft brush to enhance the highlighted areas and rename it highlight. Now let's add some realistic water droplets to enhance the effect. Import the water droplet image, transform with Ctrl T and set the blend mode to multiply. Adjust the brightness and contrast using curves or press Ctrl M. Adjust this point to make it darker and other point brighter. Duplicate these layers with Ctrl J. Set the blend mode to screen. Double click on the curve filter. Adjust the curve points by making the dark areas brighter and the bright areas darker. This will create a more realistic water droplet effect. Adjust the hue saturation by pressing Ctrl U for the first droplet layer to create a realistic color 
put on now clipping mask this two layers by pressing alt duplicate these layers adjust their positions select top layer and add layer mask use soft brush and soften the edges press alt and drag that mask into the below layer also soften these layers if needed now we will blend the mangoes into the background for a natural effect import a mango image group with ctrl g and blend it according to the light source go to the adjustment selective color press alt for clipping mask and it has the orange tone now we will create some basic and dark shadows add a new layer change blend mode to multiply and clip it to the mango layer select soft brush press alt to pick color paint with 13% brush flow press control u to apply hue saturation little saturated Okay. Uh, you can also refer to this tutorial for creating realistic shadows and highlights. I will include the link in the description below. Add a new layer below the mango image. Set blend mode to multiply. Select soft brush with 48% flow to create a shadow effect. Again create a new layer for dark shadow. Select soft brush and paint. Now select below layer and add mask and smooth edges. Decrease dark shadow layer opacity. Now paint a dark tone on the mango fruit so that it will merge with dark shadow layer. Enhance highlights by creating a solid color layer in bright orange set the blend mode to screen invert the mask with ctrl i clipping mask and use soft brush with 5% brush flow set foreground color to white and paint soft lights on areas where the light falling Now import some different mango images, blend them into the background and adjust shadows and highlights using the same method. Now let's add some water splashes to bring the design to life. Import this image, Ctrl T to transform and set the blend mode to screen. Apply hue saturation and OK. Duplicate this layer with Ctrl J, hide below layer, select top layer, Ctrl T, Bob and shape it in any direction you desire. Use a hard brush to mask out the unwanted areas for a clean and precise result. In the same way, we will create more water splash effect by applying the warp tool. Adjust the direction and flow of the splash to complement the positioning of your fruits. Blend water splash naturally with the fruits for a fresh and dynamic look. Now 
Next, we will create glow effect to enhance the overall look. Add a new layer in the background group. Use the polygonal lasso tool to create a selection. Control plus enter. Select soft brush. Pick light gray color and create a light effect. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Set the blend mode to screen. Now go to the filter menu, blur gallery, fill blur. Put one soft point, make softer and put one hard point. Pick this layer opacity. Duplicate this layer, position it at the bottom of the bottle and reduce layer opacity. Now create a solid color layer for creating overall glow effect. Set the blend mode to screen, invert the mask with Ctrl I and paint highlights with a soft brush where light falling. Let's add more fruits to the background with a blur effect for depth and focus. But fruits Position them in the background and apply path blur to create depth. Create a new layer and clipping mask. Change blend mode to multiply and create shadow effect with the help of soft brush. Now we will apply the final touches to perfect our design. Refine this water droplet effect with soft brush with selecting the mask. Make this water splash effect more realistic. So double click on hue saturation filter and colorize. Change this value slightly bit. Little saturate it and then OK. Import the rainbow crystal image, transform and rotate. Set the blend mode to screen, add layer mask. Invert the mask with Ctrl I. Select soft brush. And soften the edges so that it will blend with the background perfectly. Add some text. Add text with a gradient overlay. Position it to complement the overall composition. Now create a new layer. Press Alt, Ctrl, Shift plus E to merge all layers into a new layer. Convert it to a smart object. Go to the filter menu. Apply Camera Raw Filter. Adjust colors, contrast and sharpness to enhance the final image. And that's it. We have successfully created a professional product design using multiple images, shadows, highlights and water splash effects for a realistic touch. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to ask in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more design tutorials.